Hey, today we are diving into the fascinating and lesser known origin story of the iconic Batman video games. We all know Batman has a broadened cap to Crusader. But did you know his digital adventures have a unique history of their own? Let's buckle up and explore the fine side of how Batman swung from the pages of comic books to our gaming consoles. Be careful. I'm on my way. Back in 1986, the Cave Crusader made his pixelated debut in Batman the Cave Crusader for the ZX Spectrum and the Commodore 64. This wasn't your typical action-packed blockbuster. It was a unique blend of side scrolling action and interactive comic book storytelling. It was like Batman's first attempt at mastering the digital world. Did it set the stage for what was to come? Fast forward to 1992 and we got a game that changed the way we look at the Batmobile forever. Batman Returns for Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo featured a slick racing sequence where players got to zoom to the cities of the Gotham in the iconic Batmobile. Who knew pixels could make the Batmobile look even cooler? In the mid-19s, Batman the Animated Series took the world by storm with its sleek, satellite animation. The success of the series inspired a game, The Adventures of Batman and Robin, which not only captured the essence of the show, but also gave us a glimpse of the potential for animated superhero games. It was like a playing an episode of the animated series, complete with the old action and witty banter. Now, let's fast forward to 2009, when Rocksteady Studios dropped the bombshell that was Batman Arkham Asylum. This game wasn't just a game, it was a love letter to Batman fans. It combined intense combat, stealth, and detective work seamlessly, delivering an immersive experience that had played feeling like the Dark Knight himself. And who could forget the mind-bending scarecrow sequences that left us questioning our own reality? One of the most iconic elements of Batman games has been the portrayal of the Joker. New security. But did you know that Mark Hamill, yes, Luke Skywalker himself, Don't be a stray. has been the voice behind the Joker in many of these games. I don't like it. His maniacal laughter and impeccable delivery brought the Joker to life in a way that left a lasting mark on the gaming world. I set a trap and you sprang it gloriously. Now let's get this party started. <laughs> In 2013, Batman Arkham Origins took us back to the early days of Batman's crime-fighting career. What's fascinating is that this prequel was developed by Warner Bros. Games Montreal, a different studio from the previous Arkham titles. It was a risk that paid off, giving us fresh perspective on the Dark Knight's beginnings. Looks like you got my invitation. Just you and me. Come on! 
ever heard of Batman Beyond Return of the Joker for the Nintendo 64 and PlayStation. This underrated gem explored the futuristic world of Gotham and the legacy of the Joker. It was a departure from the usual Batman setting, but it showcased the versatility of the character and his universe. No. And, next time. and there you have it, the journey from pixelated beginnings to immersive worlds of today's Batman games has been nothing sort of spectacular. If you had a blast uncovering these gaming secrets, don't forget to show some love by hitting that like button, smashing the subscribe for more epic tales and dropping your favorite Batman gaming memories in the comments. Until our next adventure, keep donning the cape, facing the challenges and gaming on heroes.